real usage, real reviews. Mobile Reviews A. .ca. Hi, this is Agata from mobilereviews-a.ca and today I'll be doing a full review of the Autobox Defender case for the iPhone 5 and also for the 5S. So this case actually came with a case attachment and this case it is compatible with the Touch ID for the 5S because it has a hole here for the home button and it also compatible, compatible with the two-tone flash that came on the 5S but you can still use it for your iPhone 5 as well. So the Autobox uh, company makes a lot of different cases and also dry boxes for mobile devices. And they have about eight series of different types of cases for different types of protection. So this is the Defender series. Also our case is just complete black, but there is three layers here, which is the, um, the case enhancement and also there's a bumper in the inside and you can buy those layers in all different types of colors so you can customize your case that way. So we rated this case through our A rating system uh, to have a score of 3.7 A's out of 5. So the first category is design and the score for this case is 3.5 A's out of 5. So the first score in the design category is weight, weight and bulk and this case does give a little bit of weight to your iPhone and it does add quite a bit of bulk um, on all its sides because of this thick bumper that uh, covers the interior layer. So this case is made up out of three layers. Um, I would count this one as one, which basically encloses your entire iPhone, which is a polycarbonate uh, TAF material. And then there's this bumper, which is a silicon type of material that you put on top. In terms of the ease of installation in the design category, it's actually quite easy to install the case but um, it, it is a little bit more difficult to uninstall and basically there's two latches here on the sides that uh, snap and it is a really nice satisfying snap just like that but it is sometimes difficult to pry them open and I have to almost like keep a finger on one side so that it doesn't oh it just closed on me so just uh, make sure that you keep the one side open and open the second side. So it's just a little bit more difficult to uninstall. So the next score in the design category and the last one is build quality. And this case is actually really well built. It fits together really smoothly. Um, once the case is fully installed, the edges actually on the outside are quite smooth, the silicon layer and it's and it's tempered, so it's, uh, it's a little bit rounded on each corner. Um, also, the latches fit nicely. It's just a really nice build overall. It fits in your hand quite well. And um, we've tested it with drops, and there's very minimum damage, if nothing at all, through the drops that I did. So in terms of protection category, we gave this case a score of 3.2 A's out of 5. The droppability of this case is great. I have dropped it on gravel and on concrete. And I also threw it down a set of stairs a couple of times and it did survive all of the drops and all of the throws. Um, the one thing that I wanted to tell you is that Autobox do does not specify what is the height for the drops that is the maximum height. And that is really annoying because we really need want to know and they say that it can be dropped and it's shockproof it doesn't seem to be meeting any standards you can see the drop video um, in the description below or at the end of this review and it still did survive and my phone survived as well in the case so in terms of environmental protection this is the lowest score um, out of the protection category and it's due to the fact that this case is basically not water resistant at all and it's not waterproof at all, but it's not even water resistant because there is two holes at, at the top and at the bottom. There's also a hole for the camera, which basically, you know, will let any water or any liquid moisture into the case. They allow for the multi-touch or the touch ID for the home button, and they allow it through just basically cutting a hole in the screen protector. And what this does, unfortunately, is that it allows more dirt to enter through the screen. This little dust or debris that enters through this hole um, is 
is not as much as we've had with some other cases. I think the ballistic everyone was the worst. It scratched up our screen really badly. The screen protector protects the front of your iPhone quite well. I have dropped this case um, onto the screen uh, protector. There was no damage to the iPhone. The functionality category in our A rating score system scored 4.3 A's out of five. So in terms of handling, uh, this case handles really well. All of the buttons, uh, which is the plus and minus, and the power button are very smooth, covered by that silicone bum bumper. Also, the mute button is easily accessed through a latch. All of the other ports, such as the lightning jack and the headphone jack, are covered by the same exact type of latch, and they're easily opened and closed. And the rest of the ports for the mic and for the speaker are open. Also, the front here um, of the case is also completely open. There's nothing covering the camera and the sensor and the, and the speaker. Also, this case allows for the Touch ID for the 5S and also for the two-tone flash for the 5S um, because they're basically open. So the screen usability um, is unhindered. Uh, the multi-touch uh, sensitivity is not affected as much and the entire screen protector covers uh, basically the entire front of the iPhone uh, case and the edges here are a little bit raised but they still do not interfere with typing or accessing some buttons that are on the side. So in terms of the viewability uh, through the screen protector, it's actually really good. There is some glare that it's introduced but it does not scatter uh, your phone. There's no um, the fusion of your iPhone front screen. And this is probably one of the few screen protectors that doesn't leave uh, fingerprints and cheek prints. And it's really easy to clean as well. So the last score in the functionality category is case enhancements. And this is optional because not all the cases come with something. And this one came with a, a belt clip that is actually quite wide like this. And we've tested it out. Um, I actually don't wear a belt, but I have wore this um, belt clip uh, and I clipped it onto my bag, um, bag strap. And it does work really well. It's really easy to take in and out. And it's just one click, which is at the top here and the case comes out. And it's also the same way when you put the case in, it's just one click right there. The case enhancement actually scored quite well. It was 4.5 A's out of five. And it's due to the fact that this case uh, enhancement being the belt clip doubles as a stand. And all you have to do is twist uh, this portion of the belt clip a little bit to the side and you can stand your, your phone inside and look um, at your phone this way. So this AutoBox Defender case for the iPhone 5 or 5S, it's actually a really good case. Uh, we gave it a score of 3.7 A's out of 5. Please let me know if you have any questions about this case um, in the comments section below, or you can find us as well on Google Plus and Facebook and Twitter, and you can just ask us questions over there. And uh, this is what we do. We actually get, the, we buy the cases, we use them for at least a week. And it's between myself and Aaron that we use them to get uh, comparison of the field that we have for them and then we review them uh, for you to give you all of the details. So I would safely say that you can protect your iPhone 5 or 5S in this case from drops but no water but from drops you can. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.